Hi, welcome back to Sharon Shanklin Studio, and this is a continuation of our video of our silk on glass. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is we're taking this piece of a scarf, and this was an 11 by 60 scarf, and we're going to wrap it around this vase. Now I've already run this vase through the dishwasher, so it's nice and clean, and I haven't handled it with my bare hands. So the first thing that I did is I trimmed my silk so that it's about oh, a quarter of an inch longer than the vase. And what we're going to do is when we position the silk on there, we'll position the silk right up to the edge right there, and then we'll wrap the bottom of it around here. I've already signed my silk, although when you're putting silk on the outside of a container, like this one, which I just put another coat on, you can actually sign it after the fact. So, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to see how much I need to trim this. And it looks like I'm going to trim it exactly to where the seam is, and hopefully it will fit around the base. So, taking the freezer paper off of the back of it, and we'll go ahead and take the seam out on both sides. Now, a few things that I didn't mention in previous videos. This works best, this process, with your lightest weight habitat. So, um, an 8 or 10 mommy habitat works best. So, we're taking the seams off the sides of this scarf. Typically, I use yardage, but this scarf got uh, an edge of it damaged, and so I had to use it for something different. And I'm taking off the few little silk threads here because we don't want those under the under the varnish. Okay, my piece of silk is ready. And the next thing I'm going to do is put some varnish on my vase here. Now I'm working on a base of uh, freezer paper. I've got the slick side up, so. Um, I'll be able to set this on the freezer paper and it won't stick to the freezer paper. Again, we're using Verithane, Spar Urethane, water-based, clear satin, water-based, well, you said that, varnish. Easy cleanup. So I'm just going to put a nice even coat on the base here. And notice my paintbrush came out of a plastic bag. Um, if I'm doing multiple projects in one day or I'm going to put mul multiple coats on, I don't wash the brush between coats. I just put it in a plastic bag and seal it in there with a rubber band. And that keeps it, keeps it moist. Okay. I've got that on there. Next thing I'm going to do is position my silk. And if it's not on there, Exactly, that's okay because we're going to be moving it around. Right up. Right up. And you can see I'm smoothing it out. And then just rolling my base. Positioning the top edge right at the lip of this. Now your silk is going to stretch after it gets wet, so we may have a little overlap here that we may want to. Oops, oh, look at that. This is how not to do it. I put it on the wrong way. So the resist side must go out. So the silk's already wet. I'm going to put a little more varnish on here. As long as your varnish is wet, you can pretty much fix anything. But after it's dry, you don't have that flexibility. So let's try this again.
This one, if you're doing it on a vase, um, I think I might have mentioned, you can sign it after the fact. It doesn't have to be signed because you're not looking through the glass. It's on the outside of the glass. Also, bubbles are a little less difficult to get out when the silk is on the outside of the glass because you won't see little tiny bubbles. So that looks nice. And hopefully we have enough time to show you this whole process. So I'm putting another coat of varnish on, making sure that I get the top edge. And again, since I'm on freezer paper here, if I set it down, it isn't going to stick to the surface. Okay, a nice even coat. Now I'm going to come down here to the bottom and make sure that my bottom edge has a nice coat of varnish on it. Now comes the important part. This uh, silk is real slick now. And now I have to position it perfectly to line up with the top edge of the container. Since this is uh, going to be a vase or a candle holder, um, I usually don't make it wrap around the top lip of the container. You can do it any way you want. But So as I'm smoothing it down towards the base, I'm also smoothing the wrinkles out towards the seam. Now, on my seam here, I can look to see how much is overlapping. I just have this smallest amount overlapping. Typically, if I have a little bit more overlapping, I would take a very fine pair of scissors, like these uh, medical scissors I have here, and I would pull the silk back, fold it over, and carefully cut right along the edge. The important part is to make sure you don't cut it too short. If you cut it a little too short, then you're going to have to pull the silk together until um, it butts up against one another. But ideally, you want it either butting exactly together or with a very slight overlap. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom, and turn this upside down, and fold that bottom under. So maybe you can get a close-up of that. Now a nice thing I've discovered with a cylinder is I can now just place it on the freezer paper, and that will hold that um, now I'll hold that down so that it um, adheres to the bottom of the vase. But I can see the silk is starting to stretch and I have a few more bubbles here. So we're almost out of time. What I'm going to continue to do here for the next few minutes is move my silk around, make sure my seam is straight, that it's perpendicular with my vase, and then I'll probably roll it a few times, smooth it out, push it into position, and I'll keep working on this until it's tacky. And when it starts, when you can tell, when your gloves start sticking together, that's when you know the varnish is getting tacky, and that's when it's really going to start sticking to your vase. So I keep working it and working it until all my bubbles are out and it's nice and tight. So that's what it'll look like when it's finished. I'll be moving that up right till in the right position. Hope that helps and hope you can figure it out. And uh, send me questions if you have them. Thanks. Bye now.